Today I'm tackling a temporary porch for our new house. I'll show you a little bit about what used to be there um, and how I'm gonna go about tackling this project. This is gonna be temporary because eventually we're gonna pour a concrete stem wall in back of the house and put a wraparound deck on. But in the meantime, we need an accessible way to get in and out. Okay, here's our front door. And as you can see, it's a relatively dramatic drop to the ground. That's uh, about four feet, I'd say. Now, um, we had the temporary kind of pirate ship gangway situation, which was a ramp, which used to be that. I've already cut it out um, and taken it off. That extended from down there where those scrap pieces of two by four are across into the hillside there. But it was a little bit rickety. Um, my dad was nice enough to rig us up a temporary handrail. Um, but my mom is disabled and uh, before she comes here, she needs a secure way to get in and out. So as I mentioned, I cut out the previous ramp um, that's what you see there. But I'm duplicating that process in order to attach the temporary porch onto the side of the house. Now, <clears throat> this is cement board siding. I already checked with our contractor. He gave me the go ahead to attach this directly to that siding and into the rim joist, which is behind it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you can see here that there were actually two scrap 2 by 4s I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put two scrap two by fours there, which will make the platform much wider. And then I'll show you what I'm going to use. I am using these piers, which you can buy at the hardware store. I'm going to take these nails out. William had used them for something else. Um, and I am not concreting them into the ground. I'm just going to set them on the surface of the dirt. I am digging down a little bit here. Um, and then as you can see, William was nice enough to take the excavator and excavate a little bit for me um, for the rest of the length of it. I may have to take some pieces out there. So I'm going to set up here here and then I'm going to make sure that it's square to the house. And I'm also going to set a row of piers in the middle here. So there will be a row of piers here and then about four feet in there will be a row up here so this distance here is about eight feet and i'm going to support it every four feet because i'm using four by fours to span the distance you want to support four by fours if you're using them as girders or slash joists which is what i'm doing um, every four feet Generally, it is a foot to an inch of dimension. The four by fours will sit on this platform here and come across. They'll hit other four by fours extending up from the piers, much like we did the foundation of the house, actually, and come across. And then I have some redwood deck boards. Holy mackerel, those are worth their weight in gold. Um, and I'm going to lay those across here. This is a mock-up of the first 4x4, four four, just to make sure that the pier is in the right place to be square, which it is. I'm not super worried about level at this point. I actually have a uh, little more to bring it up before it would be level. You can see my little string level there, um, which is close enough. I'll come up with a 4x4 four four that I will cut to the appropriate height to make sure that this end is level with this end. I do still have to put on the second 2x4 for, for an additional support platform there. It's no big deal. And uh, then I'm going to place the second pier right there. So I'm going to space these about 14 inches edge to edge which is going to be about 16 inches on center. Um, that's going to be just fine because these are four by fours. Normally you would use two by 
in this situation. I don't have to buy. Lumber is expensive. I'm using what I have because once again, this is a temporary situation, but it is more permanent, secure, and accessible than what we had going on before. So I have set the two outer piers and attached the four by fours here to my platform. I did put another two by four on there um, just to give it some more support. So for everybody tempted to say, you're using the wrong brackets. Your brackets don't match. You're using the wrong screws. I know <laughs> it's temporary. This is also why I am using screws instead of nails so that I can take this apart really easily and we can do it right. But this is gonna be better than what we had, which was better than uh, what we had before that, which was nothing. And if you don't like these brackets, you're really not gonna like this. But uh, it's what I have and temporary porch means not going into the budget. So use what, what you got. It's really important to check level in both directions as you do this. So I just kept going until I had all of the piers placed correctly and all of the four by fours attached to the piers using my lovely combination of bracketry. I am ready to start putting the deck boards on. You will notice, and as I mentioned, that this looks a little askew in places, not least of which because I'm using lumber, which unfortunately is a little bit twisted. But it'll all work out. It is a temporary porch, and it'll do the job just fine. I'm going to have to put the decking on before I figure out what to do here in terms of a stair. Um, and I have not screwed the fascia here to these super twisted boards because my hope is that once I screw the decking down, that'll straighten itself out a little bit more before I secure it. I am overhanging my boards two inches because um, that's what YouTube said, haha. Uh -huh. um, and then I also want to point out I'm leaving a space here. And the reason for that is because I do not want moisture to get trapped underneath there. I've got a piece of scrap plywood here which uh, is about five eighths. And I'm gonna use that to space my boards so that I end up with consistent gap between them all on the way out. I am just one person and I don't want to run back and forth all the way around the porch or um, get up on top because that's kind of hard on my back, all that bending over. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring and screwing in one screw um, on this side and then I'll go and measure and screw down two screws on that side and then I will come around and do the last screw on this side. I'm only doing one screw on this side so that my boards can pivot um, because as you can see the gap gets significantly wider down there. We don't want that. Good. You got to put it on the screw. There you go. Nice. Okay. Now remember, you have to push down on the head as well, okay? Very good. Drill. Whoops. <laughs> Try again. After we just say push when you want me to push. 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 And drill. Okay. Try again. Good. Drill. Yeah. Stop. Good one. Perfect. Look at that. And no gap to speak of. Nice work. Less than zero gap, huh? Yeah. The first time I got up on here, it was really, really wobbly. So I went back and added some bracing. Um, I put a board across the span peer to peer on the outside on both sides. That helped a lot. I'm also going to come back and uh, brace this middle row. Because I didn't pay too much attention when I was setting these piers, I have some gaps in between where this 2x4 needs to run and the 4x4s um, that I need to attach it to. 
not to worry because I have a whole bunch of leftover two by four ends and I can just come along here and scab them on to the four by four, which will, let's see here, <coughs> close the gap. My current task is re-plumbing these four by four supports. So what I have to do is put the level on it. And if it's close enough, I'm okay. But if it's way out, like you can already tell that one is way out, uh, I have to fix it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off um, the bottom screws for these brackets on this side and the top screws on that side. And I'm pulling it or pushing it as the case may be until it is plumb or close enough. And then I'm putting the screws back in. The reason these are so far out of whack is because I ran into some roots that I couldn't deal with by hand. So I had to recess them in some cases, like that one there, um, fairly extremely. And so um, I'm just doing what I can. Which is going to make bracing it, even with scabs like I did over here, pretty impossible. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is brace them in pairs. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of wood and I'm going to go these two and then I can make the next two work and the last two are relatively in line as well. So that's the plan there. It's not ideal. It's better than nothing. It's a temporary porch and it's already fairly um, stable to walk on. There is bracing such as it is. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it better? A hundred percent. Is it temporary? Yes. <laughs> the entire porch is temporary and it's not moving when I walk on it. So I'm happy with that. It's going to allow us to get things in and out a lot more easily. We have a big table saw inside that needs to come out. I feel comfortable with doing that now. We have some safes that need to go in. I feel much better about that now. And uh, I have my mother who needs to go in, and I feel much better about that now. Now, obviously, this ramp is uh, going to change. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do there yet. If you have any brilliant ideas, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your uh, ideas. You will notice that I did not trim any of my 2x4s. The reason I'm not trimming my 2x4s on this temporary porch is because I don't want to cut boards that I may want to reuse later. So this is an exception. I may trim this one just because it looks pretty wonky. But my brace boards, I'm not trimming. Um, it's designed to come apart. It's all done with scre screws. And um, I am all about reusing material. So that's the reason behind that. I am putting the decking on this porch. And uh, there's a couple things about efficiency and um, just making sure I'm doing what I need to do for this temporary but much better situation to enter into our house. So I am spacing these boards out three eighths of an inch and I'm using my tape measure to um, gauge that. And they're overhanging each side about two inches. And um, yeah. I actually came up short on the boards the first go around, so I went back to the hardware store today. Fortunately, they were having a sale. Picked up four more boards, which I believe will um, do the trick. And then we'll see where we end up as far as getting onto the porch. Right now we have this ramp set up. It's actually a lot more stable situation than it was because it's a much shorter distance, but uh, I want something a little bit better than that, especially for my mom who is disabled and needs to be able to get in and out. 